The now Rishi Sunak and Sir Keir Starmer have gone head to head at PMQs in Westminster in the last half an hour. Joining me to discuss this right now is Peter Carr. We'll talk TV's chief political commentator, all sister with us is Benedict Spence as well. Um, Benedict, you and I were just discussing, you know, what a, quite a difficult one for the Rishi Sunak. So, Peter, you were watching it, so we don't have to. Um, uh, got not only the conversations about, undoubtedly would have been brought up about Frank Hester, the yes. donor, but also. Diane Abbott mm -hmm. in the chamber yep. of their sitting as an independent and also uh, the ghosts of, of, of MPs past, George Galloway, the new mm -hmm. MP for Rochdale and Lee Anderson, yeah. the new MP for Reform UK, having walked over from the Tories. So quite a difficult <laughs> scenario yes. to walk in if you're Prime Minister. What has happened? Well, I said it, yes, Lee Anderson and uh, George Galloway sitting together in the naughty corner, I'm sure it'll be called at some stage. But yes, a very, very difficult Prime Minister's questions for Rishi Sunak. He spent a lot of time studying his notes and not looking up. Those are referenced by Keir Starmer to the speech, the extraordinary speech he gave about 10 days ago. Remember that Friday evening where he mentioned extremism and how they were going to yeah. deal with it? And then uh, a reference to Frank Hester as well. Also, the sort of Debbie McGee question was asked where she uh, was famously asked by Mrs. Martin, what first attracted you to the millionaire Paul Daniels? <laughs> uh, that was sort of slightly how Keir Starmer got into the donations from Frank Hester. He's got with really topical stuff. Yes, indeed, yes. <laughs> So that's, that's what we're going to look at now. Oh, let's have a watch and a listen. He chose to anoint himself as the great healer and pose as some kind of unifier. But when the man bankrolling his election says the member for Hackney North should be shot, he suddenly finds himself tongue-tied, shrinking in sophistry, hoping he can deflect for long enough that we'll all go away. What does the Prime Minister think it was about the hundreds of millions of pounds of NHS contracts given to Frank Hester by his government that first attracted him to giving £10 million to the Tory party in the first place? Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I'm absolutely not going to take any lectures from somebody... from somebody... from somebody who chose to represent an anti-Semitic terrorist group, Hizbut Tahrir who chose to serve a leader who let anti-Semitism run rife yeah. in this Labour Party. Those are his actions, those are his values, and that's how he should be judged. Yeah. I have to say, I'm not sure Sunak's uh, response to that was really very good in terms of uh, criticising uh, someone who was a lawyer representing people. Lawyers do that. Uh, yes, but he was happy to... Let's face it, Kirsten was happy to try and get uh, Jeremy Corbyn elected to the, uh, the Prime Minister, so he, 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 he needs to be held to account for that. But... Um, Look, it was a rather sort of laboured question yeah. from Keir Starmer, as it often is. I, I take lessons from him. <laughs> uh, we can both ask long questions. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but, can you? Uh, you let me go into a longer question. Never noticed that. was a lovely story. <laughs> Never noticed that. Shush you. It's not, my, it's not my fault. Everyone's got a verbal tick. That's mine. Anyway, but Frank has said, look, that's not going away. We've had, can be bad not come out first mm -hmm. from yesterday, you know, obviously a black senior cabinet minister saying, yeah, it was racist. This after hours and hours mm. of Downing Street and the minister put out on the rounds that Kevin Holliday yeah, not saying it wasn't then Kevin yeah, yeah, not saying that, that, that it was racist, but it was awful, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, he's apologised. Even Kemi Badnock there said, oh, he's apologised. Mm. Then we've had Andrew Street, the Westminster's mayor, who's a Tory, saying, give the money back. Is it tenable? for the Conservatives to keep that £10 million from this man, given these aren't the only comments he's made. There's also comments about Indian people yeah. clinging to the top of trays. There's yeah. going to be more. This guy is clearly the racist pub bore from the 1950s, and everything he's ever said is along these lines, and he thinks it's all fine if you apologise. Is it tenable? Are we not going to be seeing in the next few days yes. that money being handed back? Yes, it's inevitable, and they should just do it now and get it over with. There's also the... Why don't they get that? Um, what, are they, what, what is going on in number 10 that they, they don't They want get it that? to go away and they have a history in number 10 of simply wishing things away and not acting decisively at the start. But did, so, did it take you a nanosecond to read those quotes and go, ooh, is it, isn't it racist? It's clearly racist. It's very, very clearly racist and it's really straightforward. He talked about Diane Abbott. He said he wanted her to be shot and he wanted to hit yeah. all black women everywhere. It's clearly racist. And there was this bizarre dance yesterday between the three separate ministers who were out one first thing in the morning saying, oh, I don't think we should label oh, it racist. Paris one saying it line. might be a bit racist. Then Kemi Badenoch saying, uh, which was not the number 10 line, yes, of course it is. She bounced him into saying, yes. didn't she? No doubt at all I was going to bounce him into this.